Hey, what's up everyone? Maji here, bringing you an up-to-date guide to the Fish Flinger's Distraction and Diversion. The purpose of this guide is to show you how to get the maximum amount of medals each competition, as well as the way to maximize your score each game so that you get the maximum amount of fishing experience possible. So this guy pretty much caters to those just going for the champion's tackle box for the trim completionist cape or if you just want it as well as those going for fishing experience. So the point of fish flingers is to catch six different species of fish all with the correct combinations of baits, hooks, and weights. Pretty simple but actually the first time you compete if you've never taken part before it can actually be quite confusing so hopefully this guide will help ease some of that confusion for you the requirements to play fish flingers are actually quite low as in you don't have to have any specific quests completed to take part or a certain fishing level so for those of you who are level one fishing you can actually take part in the competition as well all the items you'll need are automatically supplied although you can bring anything in your inventory that you wish but please note if you do the inventory interface will be covered by the player control interface once you're in the game so you will not be able to access your inventory for anything the only real requirement that you'll need is actually an entry ticket to compete in the competition to be able to take part in one of these competitions, you'll need to find one of the fishermen scattered around the map who will teleport you to the competition. Um, the easiest one of these to get to, in my opinion, is the one at Catherby Beach because it's pretty much directly southeast of the Lodestone Teleport. For a full list of where these fishermen are located, check out the description below. I have all the locations listed there for you. So earlier I mentioned that the only real requirement you need to be able to play is entry tickets. The fishermen keep track of these so you won't have to hold on to them or bank them or whatever. The fishermen will award you two tickets per day and you can find entry tickets randomly while you're taking part in the competition as well as possibly off the squeal of fortune. If you already have four tickets, you'll only be allowed to claim one. So the maximum number of competitions you can compete in on a regular basis is the two per day plus any number of tickets you find up to a maximum of five competitions per day plus any tickets you find during the day. First I wanted to start by explaining the scoring system so hopefully the rest of the guide will be a little bit easier to understand. Each competition you can win awards but these are pretty much pointless so I'm not really going to cover them. Um, there's tokens you get each competition, one token for every four fish you catch. These tokens are what you use to purchase the rewards and at any point in time you can only have a maximum of 2,000 tokens with you. The medals are really what this guide is about. It will tell you how to get all four of them. The first two, medals one and two, junior angler and master angler are probably the easiest two medals to obtain and there's really no point you shouldn't be able to get both of these every single competition. The way to get both of these is to find the perfect tackle for all six species. The next medal is called Heavy Catch and to get this medal at least 80% of the fish you catch during the competition must be from the heaviest species. It'll be a little bit easier to explain this one during the playthrough I'll show a bit later on so I'll just wait and explain it there. The final medal is efficient fisher and to get this you must obtain an average catch rating of 80 percent or higher for each of the six species this is probably the hardest metal to get during each competition especially if you screw up on one of the bait combinations but hopefully this guide will help explain how to get that even if you do screw up before taking part you should hop to world 89 and join the clan chat fish flingers Note this is a clan chat, not a friends chat, so make sure you join the right chat. Competitions take place every 20 minutes, so there's a 10 minute competition and a 10 minute wait period. If you have a tackle box, you can use that, but if you don't, you can talk to the fisherman and he will tell you how long there is left before the next competition. When there is four minutes left before the start of the next game, you can have the fisherman teleport you into the waiting area by either talking to him or right clicking on him. And once you're in the waiting area, 
I recommend right clicking on the fisherman in the western portion of the lobby area and get a hint. If for some reason it won't let you get a hint that way, just talk to him normally and you should be able to choose an option to get a hint that way. Once you have the hint, please note the key portions of the hint, which is the type of fish, the fish's location, and a miscellaneous hint, which is the bait, hook, and distance hint that you'll get. As you can see on the screen, my hint for this particular competition was bass, docks, and can spot metal a mile off, which means a bone or wood hook. Once you have your hint, use three slashes and type your hint into the clan chat. I've explained a little bit in the description about the different bait clues, hook clues, and the distance clues that you can get, so hopefully you can more easily understand them. But the clan chat will take care of these for you if you just type out exactly what the clue says for you. There's four locations, and they are on the screen now. The docks are the two closest to the lobby area with the next being the lake and the river and finally in the northeastern portion is the beach. As mentioned before there are six types of fish. These six types are the bass, cod, herring, pike, salmon, and trout. Once the competition begins your player inventory will be replaced with a control panel where you can choose your bait, hook, and your weight. Each hook and range will only be used once each competition and six out of the eight baits will be used each competition with no repeats. In the top portion of the screen you'll notice a status panel located there which will show you the history of your catches throughout the competition, the tackle you used for each combination, and the rating you got for that specific catch. This panel will also show a timer which will tell you how long you have left remaining in the competition. In the bottom left portion of the status panel, you will notice a depletion bar. When this bar hits 100%, the location will gain a depletion level and you will begin to catch fish more slowly. This will become a factor a little bit later on, mainly with the heavy catch that I'll explain. Before I go any further, I would like to take a little moment and explain how the calls will be coming out in the clan chat. As you can see by the picture on the screen now, the calls come out by the type of fish, then their location, followed by the bait, the type of hook, and what weights to use. The weights should be pretty self-explanatory, but just in case, the small weight is worth 1, the medium weight is worth 2, and the large weight is worth 3. So for example, if they say the distance is 4, you would use one large weight and one small weight to equal four. So pretty much what you do is you wait for a call to be made in the clan chat and once the call is made you go to that location, set your bait, your hook, and your weight, and you catch just one of that specific type of fish at a 100% rating. Eventually they will call the heavy fish in the clan chat or the heaviest fish and this is the one that you want the most of. When this fish is called, go to that location, set your bait, your hook, and your weight, and continue to fish this until there's either like a minute and a half or two minutes left to go, or until the location's depletion level reaches one. Once this happens, you can use the remaining time left in the competition to go around and gather up the combinations that you haven't gotten yet, and once you're done with all six combinations, you can return back to the heavy fish and continue fishing this for the remainder of the competition. Using this method, you will maximize the amount of fish you can catch during the 10 minute competition as well as the weight of your catch. As long as you're catching fish at a 100% rating and there's other players nearby, you'll have a chance to catch a big fish. If by chance you do, hook one of these you can either recast, drop the line, or move away to discard the fish. Or if you absolutely want to, others will have to help you up to a maximum of eight others to be able to land the fish. You can catch three big fish and you can assist up to six times per competition, but these are pretty much pointless. 
I would also like to mention that while you're catching the heaviest fish, that you should use a method called fast casting or power casting. And pretty much what this means is as soon as you catch a fish, you hit the cast button again to recast. This will allow you to catch fish slightly faster at this particular location. It doesn't seem like much, but over time it really does add up, trust me. For those of you who are interested in only tokens and you're not worried about getting medals, pretty much just enter a competition and go catch as many fish as you can without worrying about the ratings or the tackle combinations. Pretty much the more fish you catch, the better. Once a competition is over, you're awarded medals and awards based on your performance and tokens as I described earlier. It's best to leave the area between competitions and re-enter four minutes prior to the start of the next competition. This will ensure that the hint you get from the fisherman is in fact for the upcoming competition instead of the competition you just finished. However, if you want, you can choose to remain in the starting area if you have the tickets to take part in another competition and so wish. So, as you can see, by following the methods I described here during this particular competition, I caught 99 fish. That is partly due to the fact that we found the heaviest fish during this competition really early on, so I was able to sit there and camp it for longer. I was awarded 24 fish tokens and all four medals. Usually, on average, you can probably get between 70 and 80 fish per game following this method in anywhere between 15 and 20 tokens as well as all four medals. As you can also see the final score is about 385k and I gained about 19.6k fishing experience from this. I've posted detailed information about the rewards you can purchase from the fishermen down in the description so if you're interested in that feel free to check that out. If you like this guy go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a favorite and if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to post them. I'll do my best to respond to every question that I get asked as fast as I can. I really hope you enjoyed watching this guide as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I really hoped it helped someone. Thanks for watching.